Today, with the help of orbital telescopes, scientists discover, observe, and study planets that are in other star systems. The sun is our native star. We call it the parent star of our solar system. There are other parent stars or just stars in the universe. Some of them are close to us, others far away. And planets rotate around them. These planets are called exoplanets. Can these planets have the conditions which are at least in some ways similar to those on Earth? Planets with the size of Earth are generally on the verge of being detected with the help of modern methods. Therefore, when we say that an Earth-like planet has been discovered, it usually turns out to be a planet 5, 3, 2 times larger than the Earth in size. Well, their masses are different as well. But lately, planets whose dimensions are very close to Earth, or maybe slightly bigger, have been actually discovered. That's where the phrase, Earth's sister planet, comes from. It's difficult to say with certainty what is on their surface, in what state their atmosphere is, what conditions are like, and if they are somehow similar to Earth. Scientists have identified several parameters, according to which exoplanets can be considered potentially habitable. One of the main criteria is the so-called habitable zone. The habitable zone is the climatic zone where the planet is located, where water may exist in liquid state. This is the first condition. The second condition is that the planet shouldn't be a gas giant. It must be a solid planet with an atmosphere. However, within the same habitable zone, there may be completely different planets with totally different conditions on their surface. And the examples are not so far to seek. Our solar system has planets of the so-called terrestrial group, Venus, Earth, Mars. There are several of them, but only one has life on it. There's Mars, which has no atmosphere and no liquid water. And there is Venus, which has the same illuminance from the sun, but the greenhouse effect is different. So the question of habitable zones is still up in the air. This is just some approximation of where we would like to find and try to find habitable planets. According to some data, there may be up to 2 million exoplanets in the neighboring star systems only in our Milky Way galaxy. We just can't see those planets, even with the help of modern telescopes. Now, when we look at a starry sky, we see only those stars that shine with white and yellow light, to which our eye is well adapted. There are much more so-called brown dwarfs, which are very dim and poorly visible. But these brown dwarfs might also have planetary systems around them. Now we have just set these tasks, and just now we are developing special infrared telescopes that can see such dim, almost non-luminous stars in space. Today, the existence of several dozen of those planets which resemble Earth in some way or another has been confirmed. However, they still bear the title of potentially habitable planets. There are several planets resembling Earth. That is, they are two to three times bigger than ours, and therefore probably five to seven times heavier. They are in the zones where water can exist in liquid state. We still don't know whether there is some water or if the atmosphere contains oxygen. Space projects are being prepared for observations that can figure that out. So far, no scientist has decided to name any of the potentially inhabitable planets discovered as Second Earth. It is suitable not just for microorganisms, but for people to live there as well. We can't say if there is any possibility of water being on the planets. 
We can determine the pressure on the terrestrial planets, but not on gas giants. And the temperature, which varies between 30 and 200 degrees Fahrenheit. If there was water, life forms like those on Earth could exist there. We can't say if life can thrive in such places, but if we went, just maybe, it would turn out that we can survive there. Though reports on new so-called Earth sister planets appear regularly in the media claiming they are like two peas in a pod, scientists argue that they haven't found such a planet yet, but they keep looking. No scientist will ever agree to support this statement wholly without any remarks. But journalists ignore this and go for the sensational parts instead. Hope is a hard habit to break. I would like to believe that one of these planets is similar to Earth. We can't say that we found a planet totally like Earth. But planets similar to Venus have already been discovered.